Do you ever wonder how you could get more done within the confines of a 24-hour limit to each day? Hello, Alan Blaine here, and I want to share with you how to create more time in your day to reach your goals and your dreams. If you'd like to find extra time to accomplish something important to you, you're certainly not alone. Personally, I have and I still do face this challenge on a fairly regular basis in my ever-changing and always full life. That said, what I do to resolve this is great news that I have to share with you today. Let's get to it. Are you ready? Okay. Although we can't add additional hours onto our 24-hour fixed day, we can create more space within those 24 hours in order to work on things we want to accomplish. Here's how. First, it's important to realize that the quantity and quality of time that we invest towards any goal must match the goal itself. For example, a small goal may require small sacrifices and a small amount of time and focus devoted to accomplishing it. A large goal, on the other hand, will require more time, energy, and focus devoted to reaching it. Makes sense, right? We must set out to free up enough time relative to the size of the goal itself. Another factor that must be considered is the timeline by which we would like to accomplish the goal. How quickly do you want to reach this milestone? These two considerations should be used to help us determine both the amount of time and the intensity of focus that we must invest each day towards achieving it. And this amount of time required will obviously determine the amount of space that we must create in our current day schedule for these new activities. So how do we create this additional space in our fixed 24-hour day? There's only one way. We must be willing to make short-term sacrifices in order to turn our dreams into reality. One or more of our current activities, currently taking up some of our precious, limited, and extremely valuable time, must be given up, at least temporarily. Many people can set big goals, but far fewer people are willing to cut out current activities that do not serve the achievement of their, their goals well in order to exchange it for some time spent achieving their goals. For Nicole and me, when we launched what I like to call our work from phone business in this life transformation industry in 2015, we counted the cost to determine what short-term sacrifices we're willing to give up in order to free up time to create success in our business, reach our goals, and enjoy a much better future. For us, these short-term sacrifices, among other things, included cutting, included cutting out things like essentially all television, letting go of my perfectionistic desire to have a perfectly organized and showroom-looking garage, perfectly maintained and weed-free yard, and a spotless home office. Many people think they don't have extra time, but in my experience, myself included, even the busiest people can create extra time by doing three things. Evaluating how they spend all their time, cutting out the time wasters, and counting the cost of all the other activities in relation to the potential benefits of using that time instead for their better future. I love what a friend shared with me. He said, why would you want to watch other people live their dreams on television when you could be investing that same time into creating your own dreams? How are you investing your time? Is it giving you a good return on your investment? Time is such a limited resource and we can never get it back. I'd encourage you to spend a few days, up to a week if needed, documenting how you spend your time each day in 15 minute increments. Just journal it. This can be very revealing. You be ready to be surprised at the end. Then, at the end of the week, add up all the time you spent on things that were not moving you closer to your better future and consider what you can remove from your life, even if just for a short period of time, in order to replace it with activities that will move you closer to your goals and your dreams. In doing so, you are likely, if you're anything like me, to find that after giving it up for a season, the importance of and the significance of it in your life, you, they kind of go away. You may never care to go back to that activity again when you reach your goals and dreams and you're able to do it again if desired. Please like and subscribe for more tips to help you achieve and enjoy creating a life you love without sacrificing your family to do it. This is Alan Blaine. I'll talk to you soon.